two days after people. From deep inside this Colorado mountain, humans controlled the power to destroy the world. Cheyenne Mountain is basically a very large chunk of granite, solid granite. And a tunnel was bored through the mountain, and then various other areas within it were excavated. One of the walls has a large steel door, and behind that is basically a city built within there. Inside this mountain, a massive complex once the home of NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command. During the Cold War, it was here that American military commanders would coordinate the nation's response to a nuclear attack. And it was built here for one reason. Cheyenne Mountain Complex is designed specifically to be able to withstand nuclear war. And in fact, a multi-megaton explosion within a mile and a half from the center of the complex. If a nuclear weapon exploded right outside the complex's 25-ton blast doors, the buildings inside might not even move an inch. The buildings were specially constructed to make sure that if the mountain moved, they wouldn't. Each building sits on a shock mounting, basically giant springs that isolate the buildings themselves from shock waves from the outside. Designed to withstand a nuclear blast, now Cheyenne Mountain sits permanently at DEFCON none. And the destruction of this once secret hideout will be an inside job. Four years after people, Deep inside the Cheyenne Mountain complex, the buildings that once housed NORAD headquarters remain strong. It was here that 12 million lines of computer code, written in 27 different programming languages, helped the military determine if it was missiles or a flock of geese coming over the horizon. With the external threat of nuclear warfare eliminated, the attention now falls upon an internal invader, water. The complex conceals a 4.5 million gallon reservoir built by the military to help stabilize the internal temperature. This is water for drinking and also water to cool the massive amounts of electrical equipment that are there waiting to be used in case of an attack against North America. Now, the more than 1,300 springs which provide protection for the buildings are under assault. The water from that reservoir is leaking out as a lack of maintenance begins to take its toll. If the springs fail, it could spell the end for some of America's most secure buildings. So then whatever happens to the granite is going to start happening to the structure. Say if there's a landslide or an earthquake or some sort of motion to the mountain, then this motion will get translated into the structure and will cause the structure to fail because of that. A place designed to survive a nuclear blast finds its structural integrity slowly dripping away. Two thousand years after people. The military buildings that once housed NORAD's command center at Cheyenne Mountain are still standing. The building structure will have corroded quite a bit. The framework of the desks and the flat panel computer screens and computers that are there will be covered in powder rusted from the structure, but will really still be recognizable. It is an enduring tomb for human technology and for human ingenuity. Built to withstand a nuclear blast, the Cheyenne Mountain Complex survives, even as it is now entombed forever. <laughs>